Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at iCab Mobile from Alexander Kloss. Uh, if you've been watching TapCritic for a while, you know that I'm always looking at al alternative web browsers, and um, I've been a big fan of Atomic Web. Um, you know, Safari's okay, but I like the, you know, the different tabs that you can have with Atomic Web, uh, the full screen mode, uh, the integration with Dropbox. Um, well, I recently downloaded iCab Mobile, and it might take over my web browsing on the iPad, that's for sure. Um, it's got some nice features that Atomic Web doesn't. It's fast. Uh, I like the full screen mode in, I, in iCab just a little bit better uh, than Atomic uh, Web Browser. And let me show you how it works here real quick. Uh, here you got, you got a full screen mode here, um, which is great. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's open another tab here real quick. Let's go to CNN. And here's, and here's one of the things that um, I like with iCab Mobile that uh, um, Atomic Web nor Safari have, obviously. Uh, we're going to go to full screen here. And at any point in time, I can go down here and see what pages I have open and just switch instantly to them. This is very nice. Uh, I can also go to a new tab right here. I like how the URL is hidden here. We can just go here, and we're just going to go to abcnews.com, open something that's a little bit heavy. Any point in time, you know, I can switch to another tab. The memory management is really, really nice, and you have a ton of settings with iCab uh, that you can use that, that will warn you uh, when you're getting low on memory. Um, but I love the full screen mode. You see you have little tabs down here. You can, you can bookmark there. Uh, this brings up your, your different tabs. Uh, this hides everything except for this. There's your search and there's your full screen. Uh, enter and exit mode. And you know traditionally you can go up here and hit these tabs as well. And it's just really fast and responsive. I just really can't get over how fast this is. Um, tons of settings. Tons of settings with iCab Mobile a lot more than you get with Atomic Web and obviously a lot more uh, than you get with Safari. Uh, you can turn on private browsing, you've got uh, the disk cache, how much you want to you know, allow for disk cache. You can have an offline mode which is nice. Um, histories and bookmarks, download manager, um, just tons and tons and tons of settings. And of course you know one of my favorite settings is you know the Dropbox. Uh, you can download things right to your Dropbox, then print from Dropbox using, you know, HP iPrint or um, AirPrint on the iPad and iPad 2. Uh, another uh, really cool option is all these different gestures you can program. You've got one finger gestures, two finger gestures, three and four, and you can set these up for anything. Um, this is in Atomic Web as well, but uh, like uh, the iCab version, you can set your browser ID. Uh, and that's really good for like, let's for example, let's go to Gizmodo real quick. And Gizmodo will usually say, hey, you know, you're, you're, you know, it goes to the mobile Gizmodo. So you have just text, which is really cool. You know, sometimes I just like to read things really fast. But you can go to your settings here, go to your browser ID, and we'll just set Firefox 3.0 for Mac. Okay, we'll hit done. We'll go back here to Gizmodo and it will load the full website, which is really, really cool. You know, if you just want text, that's fine, but the ability to actually go to the full bandwidth site is really, really nice. Um, it's a really, really awesome feature. I'm gonna go back and switch this back uh, to Safari. Like I said, the gestures are nice. Uh, the, Dropbox uh, the Dropbox integration is really, really cool. Um, you can se select, you know, different search engines. Um, starting to become a big Bing fan now. Uh, let's do a search for Atari 2600, one of my favorite systems of all time. So immediately, you know, you've got, um, it's just nice. You know, I can go here at any point in time. I can hit, check this out. I can open a Safari. I can download the file. I can open page in a tab. I'm going to open in a background tab here. So that's loading the background at any point in time. Uh, let me get rid of this here. I can go to that. So there it is. 
and it's just fast. It's fast and responsive. Um, big, big fan of uh, iCab Mobile. Uh, go in here and click the images. This is a funny image here. Firefox on a cartridge. I can click this and I'm going to click this right here and I can send to, you know, once again, I can do all sorts of different things with this. I can download the file. I can save the picture to my photo album. I can go to more options, save picture to Dropbox, you know, so I'll click, I'll click that and then, then I can just go to Dropbox here. And let's look at here. So here's my iCab mobile folder, and there's the Firefox. So very, very, very nice integration uh, with Dropbox, uh, with AirPrint. I uh, wish I could find a little bit better integration with HP iPrint, and hopefully down the road that will happen. But once again, you just got some great tools here. Uh, got these modules right here, which are really, really cool. Uh, AirPlay enabler, you know, you can try to have everything go out AirPlay even if it's, sort of a not, if it's not supported. So just some great module add-ons add, add -ons as well. Something that, you know, uh, Atomic Web doesn't have. Um, so how does this perform? I mean, it's, I think it's, you know, about the same speed as Safari. And what I'm going to do now is, you know, this is an iPad 2, uh, 16 gig. And I've got another iPad 2 here, 16 gig. And this is my, my wife's to the left here. So any kind of screensavers or anything, it's, it's her. <laughs> and she's a huge Pink Floyd fan. So let's go to Safari. And what we're going to do here is there's nothing else open. I'm going to quit out of Dropbox here. We're on the same network. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So let's start this again. And what we're going to do here is let's go to CNN.com. CNN.com, and here we go. One, two, three. So they load about the same. Uh, you know, sometimes iCab will load things faster than Safari, uh, but they're approximately the same speed, and that's nice. So let's go to ABC News here, real quick. Let's go to ABC, and here we go, and bam. So this actually loaded a little bit faster, and it could be because it was in the cache, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I, I just can't, you know, look how much space you're missing over here. I mean, it's uh, just nice. Let's go here, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to CNN.com with the full screen here. And let's go. Obviously, I hit these at different times. But look how much wasted space. You know, we've got about this much wasted space over here. Um, I don't know. I just sort of like the full screen browsing experience. And, you know, the ability to just handle your tabs right here is just amazing. Um, But I love everything that iCab Mobile does. It's uh, the full screen mode is awesome. Uh, love the ability, the integration with Dropbox, and I know Atomic Web has that, but iCab just handles it a lot better. I love the ability to switch between your tabs with thumbnails here in the full screen mode. That's just a really nice feature, and I really like you know Safari's nice, but I like having tabs. I love tabs, and uh, Atomic Web uh, does a good job with that. I think iCab does a better job. So this is iCab. Uh, it's $1.99 on the iTunes App Store. And if you're looking for an alternative web browser, uh, iCab is hands down the winner. Uh, Safari's nice. Atomic Web is better. iCab takes it to the next level. Once again, iCab, $1.99 from Alexander Kloss on the iTunes App Store. And if you're looking for an alternative web browser, this is the one to get. This has been Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and I'll see you soon.